Good afternoon, everyone. This is Laura Gimbutas, the Wellbeing Coordinator with Employee Health and Wellbeing. We also have with us today Addie Moritz, our, grad, our one of our graduate assistants who I've been working very closely with, so we will be kind of co-facilitating Living with Purpose today. Um, just a couple of, of housekeeping notes before we get started, so um, if you can just please keep your microphone and your webcam turned off and muted. Um, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, please feel free to type into the chat box any questions or comments that you have. Just make sure you send that to, to everyone um, so our assistant can kind of help moderate those questions, but we'll check in with that at the end as well. So we will go ahead and get started. So just a recap. So for those of you who are joining this webinar, um, as a reminder, this is kind of part of a three-part series. We, while you did not have to attend all of the three, they kind of build on one another. So just a recap of what we've already gone over so you can kind of understand what direction we're coming from. So the first webinar was a couple of weeks ago on the topic of uncovering your best self. And the focus on that was really to help everybody understand what is purpose and why is it beneficial for us. So all those health benefits. Last week, we talked about shaping your life purpose. So really what that meant was, well, how do you find your life purpose? What does it actually look like? So we led you through a series of activities where you went over your values, your gifts, your talents, things that motivated you and inspired you, and then what was that impact you wanted to have on the world. Today, kind of leading up to that, we're going to be talking about how to live with purpose. Um, so what that will look like is we will recap very briefly what is purpose and revisiting your purpose statement because that purpose statement will be really important for you as you go through today's activities. We'll talk about very briefly what does it actually mean to live with purpose, and then you will do some exploration activities throughout the webinar. So just like last week, everybody on here should have gotten an email from Employee Wellbeing, and it has the handouts for today. So one of those handouts is the webinar activities. That is what you'll be going through during this webinar. If you are unable to print that out, it's no problem. If you could just make sure you have a blank sheet of paper, a pen, a pencil, and then just have that worksheet up on your computer to walk, to walk through that throughout. You'll also see that there was a supplemental handout. So those are additional activities that we think are very valuable for you to go through to live with purpose each day. And we will very briefly touch on what those activities are during this presentation, but we won't be going through them during the presentation itself. So those are things for you to do outside of today. So just a quick recap, what is purpose? So we kind of talked about what it is and the definition of that. So by definition, purpose is the reason for which something is done or created for which something exists. So when we think about purpose for ourselves, it's really at the core of who we are. So it's our why, it's who we are and how we are in any given moment. So if our values, our interests, our, our motivations kind of fuel up into purpose, that is how we live, our, live each day. But the more that we know about that, the more likely we can live with purpose. And again, purpose is the why behind everything we do. So why do we say what we say? Why do we do what we do? What is that overall impact we want to have? So a quick recap on purpose statement. So for those of you who were with us last week, you went through an activity to really, actually several activities to help you understand what your purpose is. This is another kind of variation of those activities that pulls everything together. So the purpose statement, again, this is going to remind you of what matters most to you right now and why. And purpose, this statement, is going to thread those important pieces of your life together. So when you think about what are those things that you love? Do you love your family, your friends, certain activities and hobbies? 
what are those things that you think the world needs? Maybe it's what you already are able to contribute to the world or what you think they need more of. So maybe the world needs more kindness and respect, compassion. Then there are the things that you can be paid for. So we didn't really talk about that per se last week, but something to ponder of, well, what is it that you can actually contribute that you can be compensated for? And also, what are you good at? So those are things like your values, your gifts, your talents. So if everybody can turn in their packet, the Living With Purpose webinar activities, to that first activity, my purpose statement. Um, I will go through this with you because I know we went through these activities a little quickly last time. So to pace us, I will actually be doing these activities at the same time as you. So take a few moments to go and fill in the boxes for each area and then come up with kind of your present purpose statement. And if you already have your statement, you can just use that as it is or use this as an activity to guide you again. Okay, so again, as you kind of took a, a few moments to think about what are those things that you love? So some examples could be your family, um, your job, being outside, things that the world needs more of. So I put down things like kindness, empathy, respect, honesty, uh, things that you can be paid for. So kind of thinking about your gifts and talents that you're good at. So for me, health coaching or teaching or project management, those are all things that I do in my current job, and then things that I'm good at, whether it's teaching or mentoring um, or just being kind to others, when I look at that as my overall purpose, you can kind of thread those together. So kind of a purpose statement that I can form for myself right now might be, um, my purpose is to help others be the best version of themselves by teaching health and well-being coaching and mentoring others to be their best self and being kind and respecting other people. So kind of tying your loves, your values, your interests, all of that together to really see what is important to you. A couple other examples, so this is pulled from last week, so just to kind of help you tie your pieces together. So maybe to give back by mentoring and assisting others in your community to help make the world a better, kinder, or more equitable place, to be a loving and supportive parent to my children. 
So again, all these components come together. So then we have to look at, well, how do you use this to live with purpose? So moving on then, taking your purpose statement, what does it actually look like day to day? So when we think about purpose, I want you to remember that it's really the journey and not necessarily necessarily the destination. So every day, each of you has the opportunity to be more purposeful in your work, in your interactions with your friends and your family, and how you view the world. There's so many moments to connect your purpose and generate meaning from. And so we are going to go through several activities to really help you to start to see how do you take that purpose statement that you wrote, how do you actually live that out? And then how do you take other elements of your life, so your work life, your family life, and how do you pull out additional meaning that maybe you haven't looked at yet? Uh, so throughout this webinar, we will have reflection questions just to help you ponder and reflect on what uh, you are learning throughout this webinar. So the first reflection question is, am I focusing on what matters most each day? So just take a moment to, to think about that and what, note what thoughts come to mind. So a simple way to ensure that you are focused on what matters most is to imagine a blank slate. So imagine everything gets wiped and you inherit no tasks or responsibilities from your past or present. Then add back what you think matters most to you. Does your blank slate correlate with your purpose statement? Do you find any similarities? So as we go through these reflections as well, just note on the front of your packet, there's blank space. These reflection questions really are just to get you thinking about an activity um, or just some areas for you to maybe reflect on afterwards. So the second question to consider is, can my current habits carry me to live out my purpose each day? So in thinking about whether your current habits help you to carry out your purpose each day. Um, we're going to go through an activity called, start, called Stop, Start, Continue. So why does this matter? Why, what's the purpose of this activity? So thinking about that purpose is going to require ongoing reflection and also occasional realignment with what matters most. So what that means is to live out your purpose each day, things are going to get in the way. They're going to throw us off track. Um, and we have to kind of realign ourselves. So living with purpose then may require us to stop current behaviors or habits. We may need to start new ones, or we may need to continue doing others. So for example, um, you'll pull one aspect of your purpose. So think about that purpose statement that you wrote and pull out one aspect of that purpose. Alternatively, you can think of a value, something that is important to you. So maybe it's being a, a patient parent or a, a kind coworker or um, an effective teacher. Whatever part of that purpose is, write that down. And then consider, what do you need to stop doing to be able to live that out? So maybe if you were, one of your purposes is to be a patient parent, maybe what you need to stop doing is, um, you know, being quick to respond out of frustration to a child and just taking a pause. So maybe a thing to start might be before you respond when you want to be short-tempered is to take five deep breaths to recenter yourself. And the area of continue, that's really to acknowledge, well, what are you already doing that is helping you to live out your purpose each day? So take a moment or two or a minute or two to just consider what area of your purpose 
are you trying to live out and what do you need to stop, start, or continue? So as you go through that, um, I want you to think about one of the items that you want to stop or start or continue. Just pick one of them and then reflect on that for a minute. So why do you want to stop, start, or continue this? What is that going to achieve? And then consider what are the action steps that you actually need to take to accomplish that? And what barriers might you encounter? So just as an example, um, one of my purpose areas is in my teaching. And one thing that I can start doing is prepping um, for my class before the semester even starts versus throughout the semester. And for me to accomplish that, I really need to create that structure for me beforehand and say, okay, what am I going to accomplish each week? So one action item um, could be uh, this week, I'm going to just sit down and look at all the lectures that I'll have to put together for next semester and create a plan on my calendar for that. And as you write the action steps to consider any potential barriers that might get in the way of that. So you might have an action step that you know that you can do, but what could potentially get in the way of that? So are there other people? Do you have a certain environment, resources that might cause you to not be able to accomplish that action step? And then lastly, I want you to think about what is one action step 
that you are willing to commit to that you can accomplish within the next week. So it can be really small, whatever you want to accomplish, but just one thing that's going to help you move closer to living out that part of your purpose statement that you wrote at the top of the sheet. Okay, so we're gonna proceed to the next reflection. Um, so the next reflection question is, am I putting off what I'm capable of doing just to continue what I'm comfortable doing? So using the past to face the present. Um, so why does this matter? Um, living with purpose is a journey that will involve challenges and obstacles along the way. And when you face a challenge, it is helpful to remember that this is not the first time that you face such things. You can use your past experiences to help overcome your current challenges. So the activity that goes along with this is actually in the supplemental packet. Um, and this activity just asks you to reflect on previous moments in your life when you were striving for a particular goal and face challenges along the way. What can you learn from those experiences to help you face the challenges of today or tomorrow? So the next question to think about is, am I living with purpose across all my roles and contexts? So why does this matter? So one thing to consider is that there are lots of times, I think we're all guilty of this, about dreaming of the future, about all the things that we're excited for, I can't wait for this new adventure, for all those things that are way down the line. And as a result, we can often really miss the meaningful opportunities that are directly in front of us. So when our minds are off somewhere else, we're missing out on how we can build that that day-to-day -day living with purpose. So where you are right now is where you can begin to shape your purpose in life. And you can do that in all your different roles, all your different contexts. So for example, at work, you are in the work environment, that's your, your context, but then you're also an employee. Your, your role is an employee, um, you might have a specific title, so in both of those areas, you can find meaning and opportunity to live out your purpose. So I will go through an example of this activity first. So the activity that you'll turn to in your packet is grow where you are planted. And you'll take, basically you're going to be taking steps to live more intentionally in the various areas of your life. So for this activity, you're going to pick just one area to work on, just for the sake of, of time today. You'll pick one area to work on, and then you can do the rest on your own time. So as an example, let's look at the context of friendships and the role of a friend. So for me, the first part to consider is, well, what am I trying to achieve in this context or this role? What is my purpose? in friendship, as a friend, what does that look like? So in the context of friendship, for me, for being purposeful, I want to surround myself with people who are aligned with my values. Because I know that my values really kind of determine who I am, and they feed into my purpose. And if I'm with a lot of people who don't live out my values, it's very likely that I'm going to be misaligned in my life. 
So the more that I can surround myself with friends who help me to live more purposefully, the better. As a friend, so how I am to the other people in that context, my role for my purpose is to be a supportive, loving, and engaging friend. So for me, that might look different than what you think it does for you, but in thinking about what's meaningful for me as a friend, that's what that looks like. The second piece of this activity is to then think about, okay, if I want to surround myself with people who are aligned with my values as far as my friends go, and if I want to be a supportive, loving, and engaging friend because I think these things feed into my purpose, what do I have to do to actually make sure that that happens? So thinking of the present, what are those little things that I can do to really ensure that I am living out my purpose in this particular context and this particular role? So in the context of friendship, if I'm surrounding myself with people who are aligned with my values, an important action step for me personally is going to be, well, let me just check in with myself. What friends do I have in my life right now? that maybe I have outgrown, that maybe 10 years ago when I met them in college, they were great friends, but my, my priorities, my purpose, my values have changed significantly. And so for me to invest my time and energy into that friendship is not helping myself live with purpose. So those are tough things to consider, but they are necessary parts of life to be able to be your best self. As a friend in my personal role, one thing that I can do to be more supportive, loving, and engaging is to think about, well, how am I actually connecting with my friends? So as I went through this activity, I have a text message in my phone that's been in there for over a week from a dear friend of mine. She asked me, how am I doing? How's the family? And I will confess, I have a hard time responding to text messages like that because I would much rather just have a phone call or answer those in person. So what I need to do is I need to just give my friend a call and leave a heartfelt voicemail or try to connect and spend time to engage in a more thoughtful way. So that is what I think will help me improve my purpose in that context and role. So on your, your worksheet, pick one of those contexts and roles. So whether it's um, friendships and then friend, or maybe you want to think about, well, how are you going to live out your purpose at work? and as an employee. So pick one of those and, and write down your responses for that. As you're going through this as well, you can kind of hold in your mind specific areas of your purpose or a value if you're having any uh, difficulties going through this exercise.
So we are going to go ahead and proceed. Um, so the next reflection question is, am I regularly connecting with the people and things that bring me joy? So why does joy matter? Joy is a key component of sustaining meaning and purpose. Um, connecting with people and things that bring us joy can help us reset when things in life get hard. So the activity that goes along with this is also in the supplemental packet. Um, and the activity goes through different questions that help you reflect on who or what makes you smile and what brings you happiness. So you can take time to reflect on what brings you joy. And then also you can reflect on how to make room for experiencing more joy each day. Um, I personally really liked this activity just because um, I think it really makes you think about, it doesn't have to be a huge thing that makes you smile, but it goes through what makes you smile, who makes you smile, if you have any experiences that bring you joy. Um, and I found it really helpful to just remind myself of kind of why I joined Employee Health and Wellbeing and why I wanted to continue my education. Um, and I personally thought it was like very, very helpful. So I hope you feel the same way when you do the activity. Okay, so your next reflection to think about is how do my work tasks connect to my purpose? So that's a great question, right? <laughs> um, so why does that matter to even think about? So connecting your everyday work to your purpose can really help you to feel more fulfilled. So not just in work, but in life. We spend a lot of time doing work-related tasks. So it's really important to start to view tasks from the perspective of, okay, what is this doing to help build meaning in my life? What value is this bringing? How does this tie to my purpose? This activity, it also helps you to reframe those not so great tasks into more meaningful opportunities. So I'm sure everybody right now can think about some things that they do not like doing at their job. That is normal. Um, but what I want to remind you is you don't have to feel so bad about it when you do those things. Um, those inevitable tasks are always going to be there, but there are ways to really try to find um, a, a new a new lens to view it from so you can generate that meaning. So for your activity, for connect the dots, you can look at your activity sheet. You're going to think of your various work-related tasks. So these can be really big things, so maybe it's a big presentation or a project that you work on, or a really small thing. So maybe it's filling up the candy dish every day. And then I want you to consider, well, how do each of those tasks actually connect to your life purpose? So here is an example of just some of my work-related tasks and then thinking about, well, what greater meaning does this accomplish for me? So for example, one of the things that I do is health coaching. And for me, one of my purpose areas is helping others become their best self. So that really goes hand in hand with health coaching. Um, expense reports, not my favorite thing. Whoever um, enjoys those, praise to you because they are tough for me. Um, but I had a presentation a few months ago where I was reminded of the importance of getting those expense reports done. So though it's not enjoyable for me, I'm still really helping out other people who are dependent on me to file those expense reports within a timely fashion. So it doesn't make the task any different, but it makes me feel better while I do it. And then another example is scheduling weekly one-on-one. -on -one. So every week I have a one-on-one -on -one or uh, meetings with our graduate assistants, and that really helps me to check in with them and mentor them, and that's part of my purpose. So just take a few minutes to jot down really random tasks, anything that you can think of, and then see how you can connect that back to your individual meaning in life.
Um, another idea for generating uh, meaning in your task is think about something that you already completed today and how that relates back to your purpose. Or think about something that you have to complete later today or later this week that maybe you're not really looking forward to and see if you can connect that to having a greater meaning to make it um, a little better as you approach that challenging task. All right, so hopefully you were able to kind of generate some ideas. Um, maybe one of you took a challenging task and reframed it in a way to see the meaning behind that. So we're going to go ahead and proceed. So our next reflection question is, what is the greater meaning behind my work? So why is it important to think about why your, why your job is important? Um, it's easy to lose sight of the broad impact our work has on the world around us. Um, and reflecting on how work positively impacts our life, the organization, and the broader community can help raise awareness of your own, own purpose. So this activity is also in the um, supplemental activity packet. and this activity just goes through some prompts um, and asks yourself how your job impacts yourself, your family and friends, um, how it impacts UD, and even the larger community such as the New York community. And I want to emphasize too, so this may seem similar to the previous activity. Uh, the previous activity really helped you narrow down specific tasks. So what are those things that you're doing day to day that you can look at differently so you can really realize that pretty much everything that you do can be tied back to that greater purpose. But a little bit more broad based thinking is, well, how does your job affect your family or your friends or yourself? So maybe your work is able to provide you with the finances to support your family. Or maybe the organization at University of Delaware, how does your particular job, how does that support the entire campus at UD? What would happen if you didn't have that job in place? What would be, be missed? What would be lost? And then even thinking about the students or the Newark community of what we're generating by being here for them. So another reflection question to ponder is, how can I help others connect with their own purpose? So one of the kind of important things in life are our social connections. So social connections are so important for us to have adequate well-being. Um, it's one of our foundations of well-being in employee health and well-being. So if you think about, well, how do you actually take purpose and use that within your day-to-day -day connections to help other people really understand the things that you're learning? So a couple of things to consider as takeaways at work, at home, wherever, help somebody try to access their quote-unquote why at least one time this week. So maybe um, your husband, your wife, a brother, a sister, a friend, whoever you could kind of talk to, and ask them, you know, what do you find most meaningful in your life? What matters most to you? Why? Why does that matter most to you? Can you tell me more about that? What about that is meaningful? So really helping to just kind of understand what people view as, as their potential purpose. At work in particular, explicitly sharing experiences of meaning in your work. 
So for example, if you see an employee who might be struggling with a particular task, you know, even just helping them to understand like, hey, like, this is, I used to feel that way too. Um, can I help you understand like a way to review, to reframe that? So sharing with them how it helps you look at your tasks differently. If you are a supervisor or a manager or somebody who has uh, direct reports, asking them, hey, what do you find most meaningful about your work? Because it gives them a chance to reflect on that. It helps them to feel good that you're interested. It helps them to know what actually gives them meaning. And it also then gives you the opportunity to ensure that you're able to support them in a way that they desire. As a group, so when you have team meetings or just group interactions, try to articulate the connection between every employee's work, what they do, and how that has a, a greater impact on just the, the organization as a whole. So how does everything that we do fit in with UD's mission statement? Because everybody, everybody's role here, everybody that's on the phone, your role ties up into that greater mission. And so that serves a really big purpose for what we're trying to do at University of Delaware. So as we wrap up, I want you to just take a minute to think about this and, and write it down. So what is one action step that you will take today to live in alignment with your purpose? Something that you can do between now and the end of the day. And then also think, what will help you actually accomplish that? So if you're gonna write down something that you're going to do, what's gonna help you get that done? Okay, so one more note to make before we close. Um, some of you may have seen this already, but one thing uh, our department has done is we've partnered with a company that has an app called Purposeful, and it really is designed to do all the things that we're talking about today. So how do you actually live more with purpose? So that reflection question that I had on the prior slide is something that you would experience in Purposeful. So when you open the app, you are usually asked, hey, what is your focus for the day? What do you need to do so you're doing what matters most? What action steps do you need to take to get that done? And what's gonna help you get that done? So there's lots of other tools in here as well. Um, presently, this app is available to uh, benefited University of Delaware employees. Um, we also, if an, a benefited employee signs up for this, then they can invite their spouse. They can also invite another benefited employee that should they choose to accept, they get a kind of like a free invite to invite a friend. Um, I'm happy to answer more questions about that um, if you want to shoot me an email, but if you are interested in, in checking that out as a supplemental tool, you can just text UDEL to the number on the screen. You can also visit our website, so udell.edu slash wellbeing, and click the little purpose icon to learn more about purpose and purposeful. And again, you can also just email me directly, and I'd be happy to, to provide you with more information. So that concludes um, our final webinar in the October series around purpose. Um, we thank you all so much for, for joining us. This was a fun adventure to really do something that we would typically do in person, virtually. I will say that I miss being able to interact with everybody as much, but I, I hope that you were able to get some positive things out of this. Please, please feel free to send me email, um, email feedback or, or call me with anything positive or constructive. It's really helpful for us as we continue to shape our program. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and are able to live out your purpose more than ever.